Hello, this is Steve Palladino from Palladino Power Project, uh, bringing you a, another video on Super Power Calculator, but this time um, the uh, web version. Um, thank, thanks to the uh, great help from Mikhail Lunn, um, we now have uh, produced a um, super power calculator that is web-based and not the Google Sheets uh, version. Um, we Right now we have a CP calculator and we will be adding other calculators on as we go, but I want to demonstrate uh, that calculator. So um, you uh, go to the, uh, the website and the link will be in the, uh, the description of the video. Uh, and then you can simply uh, go to calculators here. I'm going to start it this way just to, to show you a very simple approach. Go to the calculators. This is for calculating your CP value and your reserve work capacity or W prime from a CP test from a same day to two session. Usually it's two, two durations, um, two duration CP test. Uh, but you could do more, and I'll demonstrate that. So in the most simple uh, application, you just come here and you'll select your units of entry. Uh, and I am going to uh, just enter uh, a couple of power values. This was for a three-minute test, and this is from, for a 10-minute test. And I come over here to hit calculate. Now let's say I did three different components. Let's say I did a, uh, a one, five, and 12 minute test. All I do is add, hit add activity, and you could you know, add another uh, duration if you happen to test that in your test protocol. Um, but what I'm gonna do is just calculate those two and so I hit the calculate button and we get the results. And we have a critical power of 298, 299 watts. Um, and uh, a W prime or reserve work capacity of 12.858 kilojoules. Um, and you can see it says enter weight, enter weight. It, it will pop up warnings like the the, the, the uh, sheets based superpower calculator. Um, in this case, it's saying that um, the reserve work capacity is too high. This is a little bit outside of the uh, the range that we have provided based on some uh, research that we've done. Um, so this would prompt the user to think, okay, have my prior CP tests Am I generally an outlier above? I mean, this is more of a uh, of a speed burner, uh, per, maybe a middle distance runner. Um, if they routinely perform above, they're they're a high reserve work capacity person. Um, on the other hand, it could mean that I have a sort of uh, not performed my test components to. Um, equal performance levels, um, meaning that with a high reserve work capacity, it may be that my first duration was really you know, optimally performed, but maybe I was too fatigued or maybe I didn't have the motivation or maybe something happened, you know, I had to make a U-turn or whatever, that the, the 10 minute component in this case is slightly underperformed. So it's it's up to the user to um, take this warning and interpret it. Is it because I really am a high reserve work capacity or W prime person, like a middle distance runner might be, or did I not execute my test perfectly? Or I shouldn't say perfectly, did I not uh, execute my tests optimally? Um, now, notice that it says enter weight, enter types. So well, what we've done here is that we have uh, studied 
reserve work capacity in particular uh, by a gender and also by stride type. Stride wind has air power added onto it, so it's going to produce uh, a, a little bit higher uh, W prime or reserve work capacity in most cases. Uh, so if I come in here and select that um, and then calculate the values again, you can see it eliminated that one warning, but it's still saying that I'm a little bit high um, for a male using a wind stride. So it actually will start to filter through our, our, our studies and our, our uh, table um, to match up with the uh, selected parameters up here ge of gender and the stride type. So that's, that's sort of a, a, a simple uh, approach, just you know, getting your CP value and so forth. But notice that we have a profile built in here. So if you're using this over and over, you can actually um, save your profile and uh, haha, I'm 70 kilograms and I will say um, 300 watts. And I wouldn't change this right now. I, I would leave it at the default 50 minutes in almost all cases. I typically do. Um, and I want to use, typically use kilograms. I want to use uh, watts. And I want my duration to be hours, minutes, and seconds. So you can, talk, you can select your standard units and your basic information. You save your profile. So now it's saved. So when you go to the calculators, you can see that now it's populated. It's populated with um, all the units that you normally would select. So if I go in here and re-enter um, this with my profile already saved, it will um, bring in all those, those values that you see here. Um, in your profile. Um, sorry. So I calculate that. And there you go. So it just brings in um, your weight. So, um, and you should put your stride weight. It has to be stride weight, not your real weight. Put your stride weight in your profile. And if you ever use this independently of the profile, use your stride weight. Um, and it'll give you watts per kilogram. Um, it'll calculate that for you. It'll even uh, calculate in terms of uh, joules per kilogram um, and uh, give you an idea of your W prime from that perspective as well. So uh, there you have it, the, the uh, web, web-based uh, version of the Superpower Calculator. And um, again, thank you to Mikhail uh, Lund for uh, for doing a lot of the, the work on this. Um, and again, like I said, we will be adding more calculators. Right now we have this in the live environment. We have a number of others that are in our test environment. And hopefully we'll bring those to you soon. Thank you for watching. Um, look forward to bringing you another one soon. Thank you.